Lots of luck. <laughs> you know, you sure know what you want. Once in my life, I'm getting it. Thanks. Pork chop. I thought you meant me. We're too young to get married. All the time. soon enough. Too soon. Mother, I want everything to be peaceful. It will be. Those are gorgeous. <laughs> I promise you, I'll be on my best behavior. I'm too happy to be anything else. You will never guess what I found. What? <laughs> well, it was a search because I, everything is so disorganized since I moved to the coast, but close your eyes. Okay? I remember you showing me that when I was a kid. <laughs> Well, you always said you wanted to be married in it. Oh, that was a long time ago. A lot's happened since then. Judy, your father was bad luck. Not the dress. I wish you wouldn't criticize him, Mom. Can't we all just for now be a family? All right. Yes. I believe in it anymore. Marriage? Love. I've never seen it last. I don't know if it does. And when it doesn't, look how many people suffer. Judy, please. Don't you understand? I don't want to do to my kids what they did to us.
Judy. You know what I want to be when I grow up? What? You. I'm going outside away for Daddy. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, there are two different kinds of elephants, African and Indian. Now, these are Indian because they have the small ears, but the African elephants, you, you can't train them. Can Indian elephants be trained? Oh, yeah, yeah. They, you remember last year when, when we went to the circus? Oh, yes. They did tricks like this. <laughs> yeah, with, they were all Indian elephants. You want to look at the rhinos? Yeah. Here's the purple. Poor Daddy. Have to work again tonight? Responding to a cry for help. So many of these cries seem to come at night. Oh, that's nice. Daddy, can't you stay home? Oh, I would love to, darling, but one of my patients has a crisis. Female patients? Most of my patients are women. I wonder why. Paranoia. What's paranoia? Paranoia? Paranoia is what We'll discuss somebody... that later. May I ask, uh, when we'll be home this time? As soon as I finish. I mean, an hour. Uh, what hour, approximately? Approximately, uh, ten or so. Where are you going? Got to stamp out and then Is there a number where I can reach you? In case one of your other patients has a crisis? I'll be home at ten. How you doing, girls? How come you're not wearing a bathrobe? Oh, I'm working today, Judy. I'm uh, substitute teaching. At a real school with children and blackboards <laughs> and a bed to salute? <laughs> you silly. Well, the little girl with toothpaste on her mouth. Oh, Mom. Where's Daddy? I need help with my mouth. He's in his bathroom. Excuse me? Okay. I admire a woman with ambition. Best father in the world. Do you understand fractions? Best father in the world is in the air. Of course. 
course I understand fractions. Were you counting your clothes? <laughs> no, no, I was just uh, hanging some things up to make a little more room for Mommy. Why does she need more room? Oh, haven't you ever wished that you and Debbie had separate rooms sometimes? Hmm? When she gets into my stuff or has a tantrum or wakes me up singing that spider song, I hate that song. Well, I'm just worried about coming home late after work and, and waking Mommy up, that's all. You're so nice, Daddy. <laughs> Would you put that egg away? That breaks very easily. Will you sleep in the guest room all the time? I don't know. It was nice having your room close to Debbie's and mine. That way, if we needed you in the middle of the night, we could always knock. Well, I'm only upstairs, darling. Potatoes, honey. They have a tendency to put a little, uh, you know. Daddy, it's her birthday. If she wants more potatoes, she can have them. Well, why didn't somebody tell me what she wanted for her birthday? I'd given her a whole bushel full. <laughs> you know, girls, I hope when you're grown up that you have a husband who will take you out to dinner on your birthday. Well, why didn't you tell me you wanted to go out for dinner? All you had to say is, I want to go out for dinner. I would have said so, Aaron, if I could have found you. You did? Let me see. What color did you paint your fingers? <laughs> <laughs> I want a quick ballet. Judy, no, really. I'd really like to, you to stick with it. No longer try it. I've been taking two years. Seems like a try. Aaron, please. Oh, I'm sorry. How presumptuous of me to have an opinion. No, no, it's not that. I. Never mind. All right. It's, uh, I just don't want her to be a quitter. Well, I think if she's tried something for two years and it doesn't make her happy, there's no reason for her to stay. Well, yes, I think she should. She's made a commitment. No, no, you made the commitment. You enrolled her, you signed her up. Look, I'll keep dancing. <laughs> I like it. Well, if you don't really like dancing, well, I don't see why it's so later. important. you do is you just put the blade in there, plug it in, and presto, you just carve and slice. You should have seen the demonstrator. I mean, it, it's, you can use it for 
for all kinds of occasions. What, what, where are you going? What's the matter? Mommy! Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, it's okay. Huh? No, 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 you stay here, kiddo. Okay, Judy. Mommy? I'm sorry, Judy. Was Daddy making a joke? No. No, no, no. What? Well, it, it's really all right, huh? It was nothing, just nothing. Why don't you just go back to the party? I'll be right in. I need my toothbrush! Say, please. I'm only talking to Debbie. All the more reason to say it nicely. Yes. Girls, I have to talk to you. Let's go in my room. What I'm going to say very difficult. So I want you to listen really carefully. I guess you've heard a lot of fighting lately. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, every, everyone fights. Everybody disagrees from time to time. Like you have your differences, don't you? You squabble and you bicker. She bites and kicks. I do not. Daddy and I have been fighting too much lately. More than is healthy for us or for you. So we think that it's um, best for all. That we make a change. To perhaps try something new for the family. What I'm saying to you, girls, is that Daddy is moving out moving out of the house. He's been very, very unhappy for a long, long time. And we're very afraid of making you unhappy, too. Then don't let him go. We have tried. Both of us have really tried to make it work. Then try harder. It's no use. What about us? You'll stay with me. Please don't be afraid. Things are going to re really be very much the same. You have your room, and you'll see Daddy often. You just will see him in his new home once he's settled. And what you must realize is that even if Daddy and I are not husband and wife, we will always be your parents. We will always love you. We will always take care of you. Truly, I promise. We just won't be doing it together. But we will be doing it. Where is he? Where's my father? Oh, he's here.
I will always be your daddy. And nothing, nothing can change that pumpkin. <clears throat> oh, I... Did you hold it? See you in a couple of days, huh? Mommy wears her hair like that. The answer is no. But you haven't seen him in two months. I know that. Maybe you forgot how nice he looks after a haircut. Judy, come on now, don't. Or how Tanny gets playing tennis. Judy, stop it. to learn how to help people with their problems. Like you helped Judy at math? Well, not exactly, no. Who's that? Oh, that is a 
a very special man, a great man named Sigmund Freud. He taught us a lot about the human mind. Is he a friend of yours, Daddy? No, not exactly. He's dead, kiddo. Did you ever know him? No, but I wish I had. What's this? That? That is a couch. Do you sleep there? <laughs> no, no, but I have patients that lie there and they tell me stories. What kind of stories? Oh, about things that they've done, their dreams, things like that. Can I lay down there? Sure, pumpkin. Can I tell you a story? Tell me a story. Once there was a daddy and a mommy, and they had two children. And they all lived in a nice, big house. Oh, wait, oh, oh. wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What are you doing? Well, I don't want you to see Sigmund Freud crying. Huh? Come on, kid, old pumpkin. We're going to have some fun. We are going to have so much fun, you are going to be sick of it. Hmm. She was in the shower. She baked a coffee cake last week, the kind you used to love. Judy? Debbie, this is Vivian. Hi, girls. So, these are your little girls. Oh, your daddy's always talking about you. Oh, you have two of the most beautiful little girls, honey. Here's one for you. There's yours, here's mine, and here's mine. See you soon. Bye, Daddy. Bye. Bye. to your father's. I must have left it. Where? Somewhere. I'll call Daddy and find out if I left it there. Judy, when someone loses something, there's a reason for it. I didn't lose it. Then where is it? Oh, you're grounded until that bracelet is found. Why? To teach you responsibility. That's crazy. It's this divorce thing. It's driving everyone crazy. But I just like ballet. Oh, Judy. Judy, what happened between your father and me had nothing to do with you. Judy, listen. If anything, our love for you and Debbie made your dad and I stay together longer. I'll find the bracelet. Okay. You can call him now. Am I grounded? Just for tonight. 
night's almost over. Well, that's all right. They could stop loving us, too. What is it? That's a painting by my friend, Brian. Yes. Yeah. What's that a picture of? Well, actually, Judy, it's not a picture of anything. It's a painting. I don't see the difference. Oh, well, the difference is... I don't like it, and it doesn't feel like home anymore. Oh, honey, it is home. But all these changes. Well, Judy, that's the way life is. You know, things do change. False eyelashes. Yes, honey. Yeah. A lot of women wear these now. It's a style. You never did. Oh, sure I did. Lots of times. When we went out, you just never noticed. How long have you been seeing this? Brian. Brian. Yeah. Brian and I have been friends for a few weeks. How much do you like him? Well, there's Brian now. Let's, um, tell you what, would you answer the door for me? Debbie's upstairs. She'll get it. Judy, please. Oh, all right. Thank you. Hi, I'm Brian. Mom's getting ready. She's finishing putting on her makeup. You must be Judy. And you must be Debbie. Hi. Hi. Well, this is a nice house you have here. My father bought it. Well, that's nice. Where do you live? I have a studio. What's a studio? A studio is a place where I work. I paint. And I also live there. It's not very big. Can we see it? Debbie. Sure, any time. Are you famous? No. Do you like kids? Yeah, I like kids. Do you have any? Not yet. How come? Well, um, I'm not married. I never have been. Why not? Well, you know. Uh, I guess I just never found the right woman. My mother snored. Hello, Brian. Hi. Well, at last you've met the girls. Yes. Judy, I really have to keep working. Did you have a good time last night? Yes. Do you like Brian? Isn't he younger than you? Yes. Do you like him? Well, maybe. Me nuts. Hey. Sorry. 
What happened to him? He ran away. He did not. He was killed by a car. What kind of dog was he? I don't know. He was part German Shepherd. I miss Smokey. I know. So do I. Can we get a new dog like Smokey? Oh. Yeah, we'll see about it. But now, it's time for bed. Oh. <laughs> oh my my God. God. Mm -mm. Time for bed. Come on now. Come on. Hi. Oh. Oh. Good night. Good night, girl. Can you teach me to play the guitar? Sure can, kiddo. Do you like Brian? I guess. Do you like the way he draws pictures? I guess so. Are you going to learn how to play the guitar? Maybe. I bet Brian can do almost anything. Brian's me. He's not daddy. Dad's girlfriend. She's a stewardess. They're engaged. He's getting married again? He's a glutton for punishment. One more, just for good measure. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. All right. Judy! Hold it right there. Don't, Dad. My head's a mess. Oh, you look fine. You look... No. Okay, you take the camera and take a picture of Laura and me. You just press the little button on top. She knows, she knows. She's done it before. Kathy can do it better. Well, somebody take the picture. Okay. All right, you two. Get nice and close. <laughs> <laughs> did we have fun or did we have fun? Let me think about it. <laughs> thanks, Dad. It was a terrific weekend. Oh, thank you. You know what? Next time, let's take Laura and Kathy to the zoo. Hmm? You really like her, don't you? Oh, yeah. It's taken a little while, but you know I'm getting to like her, too. Really? Well, that makes me feel awfully good. You know why? Hmm? Deb, come here. Come here. Laura and I are getting married. During the period of time they've known each other, Aaron and Laura have learned to understand and love each other and have decided to unite in marriage. And inasmuch as Aaron and Laura have been witnessed by myself, the guests, and in the eyes of the Lord, I hereby pronounce you man and wife.
excuse me. Judy? Judy, what's the problem? Is there something wrong? What's the matter? Huh? You love her. Well, of course I love her. I love you, too. You like Laura. But did you have to marry her? Well, it wasn't a case of have to. I didn't have to marry her. But you see, you're married to someone else now. I don't want to lose you. Oh. Judy, you're not going to lose me. You're not going to lose anything. You're going to gain something. You've got a whole new family now. And you got a very happy father. Can't you try to be happy, too? Hmm? Come on. Happy Thanksgiving! Wake up, Mommy! I'm up. Is I'm Brian up. here? Uh, uh, yes. Yes, he's in the kitchen. What's he doing in the kitchen? Well, he's beginning to make our Thanksgiving feast. Brian's cooking? Yes, and he's a gourmet, so... What's a gourmet? It means that Brian can really cook up a storm. Do you two want to go out there and help him? Can we? Mm -hmm. Come on, Judy. morning. Happy Thanksgiving. I'll be heating the stuffing for the turkey. What do you make it out of? Bread, celery, onions. I cut up some olives, and then I put in some whatchamacallit. What's whatchamacallit? That's a special ingredient that's been in the form of family for generations. Good morning. Happy Thanksgiving. Hi. Brian's making the stuffing. Can we help? Sure thing, kiddo. Here, you just stir like this. Judy, I'll lend us a hand with a big bird. No, thanks. Maybe later. Let's get back to work. Brian get here early? No. He stayed over. So we could get a nice early start on our dinner. Will he stay here all the time? Mm. Brian has his own place. Would you like for him to stay here? I don't care. Judy? I love Brian. And he loves me. And he loves you and Debbie, too. How can he? He's not our father. No, he, he's not your father. But he loves you. And it's okay for you to love Brian. Listen, I know it, that it's difficult. It really is to understand this whole... But see... Try to think of it this way. 
You have two Thanksgivings. Isn't that something to be grateful for? Hmm? Isn't it? Did you think about it? Please? can't carve a turkey to save his life. Oh, Mom, lay off, Dad. Are you telling me what to say? Silence. This is a delicate operation. Yeah. What do you think of that? Terrific. Since you recognize great talent, you get the first piece. No. I want the leg. You get the leg. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You know what? We should have us a Thanksgiving prayer. We don't have a Thanksgiving prayer. Well, let's make one up. Excuse me. We give thee thanks for Brian, and for Brian, and for Brian. <laughs> oh, seriously. Let Judy do it. Come on, Judy. Yes. All right. Thank you for Dad, Mom, Debbie, Smokey, Brian, and Lauren Kathy. Very nice, Judy. Can we eat now? Yeah. yeah. Want some cranberry? Great. Is that a bird or is that a bird? <laughs> Take a good look at it. It's the last time you're going to see it like that. Honey, look at the cider. Aye, aye, Captain. Debbie, the napkin. Oh, Captain, would you bring in the cranberry sauce? Okay. Now, where did you learn to carve like that? In an alley, dang warfare. I can believe it. At least I'm not a hack at everything. <laughs> is it hard to carve? Well, yeah, but, but you don't mind. Do you, fella? Well, 
Kathy, you're the oldest. I'm the prettiest. Who said? Baloney. We ought to have a dishwasher. We can afford it. Hasn't Dad ever told you about the alimony aspect? All the time. <laughs> what are you doing Christmas? I don't know. Are we going somewhere? Aspen. Aspen. Mom wants me to learn how to ski. That'll be fun. Except for skiing. I hate skiing. I love it. Your Dad didn't tell you about Aspen? No, I guess he wanted to surprise us. I guess. <laughs> What are you doing? Uh -huh. Clinical report on depression among females in their thirties. Got to keep up, you know. Poor dad. Yeah, poor dad. It's a great turkey, wasn't it? Fantastic. Well, Laura is just some kind of cook. I know. Will we have a kitchen in Aspen? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a condo. Great. It's a small condo. That's okay. I tried to get a, a big one, one that was big enough for... Well, squeeze together. Judy, what I'm saying is that Laura and I really haven't had... We haven't been away since, since our honeymoon. What about us? What about Kathy and Debbie? Well, this time, uh, we're going to take Kathy, and then... The... Taking Kathy? It's just this time. That's all. You spending Christmas without us? We'll celebrate Christmas twice. I'll be with Laura in Aspen, and then when I come back, we'll have our Christmas here, together. It's just for this time, Judy, because the place is so small. Then it will be your turn the next time. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. La 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 la. la, la, la. Tis the season to be jolly. <laughs> ba la 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 la. la. Are we going to the homemade tree? No. That's one of the joys of having an artist around the place, huh? Brian, you're at a tune. If I were a car, I could just get a tune-up. That's so <laughs> funny, I forgot to laugh. Well, you, you better remember. <laughs> <laughs> now you're never going to get better. That's crooked. Well, I'll fix that. How's that? Better. Are you sure? Absolutely. You're right. Absolutely crooked. <laughs> Cookies and cocoa. That sounds like a bog girl scene. Oh, look. It's beautiful. Debbie would like to say hello. Um, have a nice new year, Aaron, and uh, think of a resolution you can keep. Hmm? Are you all right? Sure. Hi, Daddy. How are you? Are you having fun? Is it snowing? Do you have a fire and everything? No, we haven't opened the presents yet. When will you be home? I want to give you a present. Okay. Merry Christmas, Daddy. She's right here. Daddy wants to talk to you. Daddy wants to talk to you. She's coming. I'm not. You're not? What? I'm not going to talk to him. Judy, it's Christmas. Daddy, she can't come to the phone right now. He wants to wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> 
I don't want to talk to him. But he says I don't want to talk to him again. Never. Daddy, she says she doesn't want to talk to you again. Not ever. Judy, you know what I wish? What? That you weren't going to college. Oh, you know what I wish? What? That we were going to go together. Well, maybe I could come in February. Oh, sure. Do three years of school in one semester. I was always smarter than you. <laughs> No, Mom, this is oh, yours. Sure. No, I want you to have it. We fire you. Yeah. Write some long letters home. <laughs> oh, there. gee, I forgot your radio. Oh. Now, listen, write me when you want to. Okay, that's a deal. And call. I will. Who act? Okay. Maybe you can come home for weekends. Some weekends? Yes! Oh. <laughs> Cutie. This reminds me of your first day of kindergarten. <laughs> yeah, when we got to the school, you just amazed me. You were such a confident little thing. Really so independent and eager. And you, and you ran away from me, and when you got to the door, you waved and you yelled, Mommy, tomorrow I'm going to walk to school by myself. And you did. <gasps> I think you're great. Thank you. This is a great little oh, person. I love you. I love oh. This is an embarrassing display of emotion. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, Debbie, you're so weird. Oh, have fun. Oh, I will. Mom, bye. Take care. Go get him. Oh, I will. Judy, you're, uh, you're ready. Can I help you with those? Oh, thank you. Um, no. I'm stronger than I look. That makes two of us. Loader. If you can explain his answer, I'll give you half of my tuition. What do you want from me? A civil conversation wouldn't hurt. I'm sorry. Do you want to have coffee with me? All right, look. We'll both have coffee in the same restaurant. If you want, we'll sit at different tables. <laughs> want me to remind you. It takes a lot to make you laugh. You know that. What's your major, Danny? Political science. I want to change the world. What's yours? Wait, let me guess. Let me guess. Uh, English. How did you know that? I asked your roommate. I'm glad you weren't put off by my determination. Who said I wasn't? How come you were so distant? I mean, you must have known I wanted to ask you out the first time I met you. What was it? Multiple choice. A, you're married. B, you're involved. C, you're on your way to a convent. All of the above. I can handle that. How did you know where I was? Uh, Debbie. You went to the house? Oh, no, no. No, Debbie was on her bike. So how are you? <laughs> Fine. Thought maybe that, uh, 
you know, that you might invite me to your graduation, but I guess uh, it hurts you that much, huh? Yes. That was some time back. Some things don't change. You know, forgiveness is a wonderful thing. It, it makes you feel good. You hurt us. You hurt us all. Well, yeah. So you punished me. I didn't punish you. But that's okay. You see, I'm a psychiatrist. Psychiatrists are supposed to be understanding. And I, what I really wanted to tell you was that uh, is that I've moved. And it would really be nice if you'd come over for the weekend. We'd have it together, just the two of them. What about Laura? Uh, Laura? Well, Laura's, uh, Laura's split. Or we have split. It's kind of hard to tell the difference. Uh, oh, I've got a, here. There's my new, my new address and my new telephone number. Wrote it all down for you, so. You got no excuse, huh? Ah, <laughs> Anthony, <Okay>, por favor. <laughs> Here, let me have it. The living room. Nice. <laughs> and now? Let me show you where you're going to sleep. I'm going to give you my bedroom. I'm going to sleep in the den. Oh, Dad. No, nope, you get the presidential suite. I'll be right in here, close by, and we're going to have share back. Oh, that's OK. With two alimony. <laughs> Is your mother ever going to get married again? I huh? don't know. Sorry about Laura, Dad. But it sure feels good to be here. OK, well, now, how's this furniture? First, I'm going to take you out to lunch, and then we're going shopping because you'll need some new clothes for Europe. Europe? I've got a month off. Paris, Rome, Vienna. What about your patients? It doesn't going to have to be patients. What about Debbie? Well, I can't take both of you. Can't afford both of you. Maybe next time. She'll be disappointed. Oh, Debbie will understand. I hope so. When do we go? Two weeks. Will you come? <laughs> oh, Dad. Danny, I'm so sorry about everything. Oh, so am I, so am I. Paris, Rome, Vienna? Oh, Swartz. <laughs> Fucker Tort. Sigmund Freud. Oh, is, yeah. he, is he still hear sad stories? Oh, I tell them all the time, yeah. You want to come? To Vienna? To lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. I'll just get my jacket. Mental illness. Hello. Well, when'd you get back? Did you have a nice trip? Listen, I was just about to go out to lunch with a very lovely young lady. My daughter. You would? Fine, fine. Listen, we're going to be at the Peacock. Why don't you meet us there? Good enough. We'll see you. That was Carol. She's going to join us. Who's Carol? She's a friend of mine. She works for the airline. Just got in. Did she fly to Paris? Sometimes. Rome? Vienna? Hey, you're gonna love Carol. She's really very nice. I need somebody. So do I. I needed you. Not you and some girlfriend. You just can't stand to be alone with me. Well, now, just wait a minute. I'll, I'll call Carol. It's no big deal. I'll, I'll call her. It, it'll be our weekend, just the two of us, like I said. Hi. How come you don't return my call? Are you following me? Where are you going? Well, I'm going home. Yeah, but you're coming back. Yeah, in a few days. Well, in that case, I'll help you with your bag. Oh, turn that off, Judy. What is it? 
It's after curfew. It is. Mom, what happened? Nothing. Just go up to your room, right? Up to your room. Please. What is it? Is it Debbie? Nothing. It's nothing that concerns you, Judy. So just please go to your room, okay? Going away. Where? Europe. Rome. Brian is going to live in Rome. We'll visit him. <laughs> no, baby, we won't visit Brian. No, see, he's dumb. I want to be free. You was free. You weren't married. Well, he wants to be free artists. Uh, he's an artist, and artists have to be free. I've heard, you know. Mom, you were so happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, Mom? But, but I really don't want to talk, hon, okay? I love you very much. You go to bed now. Okay. Mom? Do you realize what time it is? I'm sorry. I know. Oh. I just thought that if I waited until morning, then I might check it out. I really appreciate you're not giving up on me. Start with dinner tomorrow night. Yeah. And a movie on Friday. In Paris on the weekend. <laughs> okay? I want to take it slowly. Slowly. Do you see I'm a little skittish in these areas? Any promises to each other, okay? No promises. No commitment. No commitment. <sighs> okay. You want to stay for a while?
And tonight we're all gonna have dinner together. Danny and his parents and you and me. And Mom and Dad. In a way, it's like a dream. Mom and Dad are gonna be there. They're gonna be fine. Who knows? Maybe they'll find out that they can be friends. Oh, Debbie. Or something. I wish I could be like you. You always think of the bright side of things. Well, you can too. Can you try? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> She'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> Everything in its own time. Be all right for you? Oh, sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Mrs. Danner? This is my mom. I'm so glad to meet you. Yes, it's a pleasure. And my dad. Oh. Yeah, we beat it last. <laughs> well, Norma, you you really are looking good. Thank you. So are you. Oh. And uh, I know it's a little gray hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you put on a couple of pounds? Uh, no, no. I, I, as a matter of fact, I think I've lost a couple. Oh. Still uh, playing tennis? Whatever I can, yes. And for our new arrival, vodka martini, very dry, with an up. Actually, a champagne cocktail. That's what they say, the <laughs> champagne cocktail. <laughs> champagne cocktail. Well, isn't this a happy occasion? Uh -huh. Do you remember what my I father sure was... do. The day before our wedding. It was the first time I'd ever met Diane's father. I was so nervous. Uh, and my dad, he's gone now. But later, he told me that Ed seemed immature, <laughs> unstable, <laughs> never worked. And here comes a silver wedding anniversary. How about that? Oh, wow. <laughs> so, what's the secret? Good question. Well, the secret word is communication. Understanding. Hmm. Did you hear that? Did I? Oh, yes. Yeah. Communication, understanding. Dad? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Your mother and I have made a truce. Judy? What are you going to have? I don't know. Thank you. Thank you, Ian. Uh, no. Uh, Mrs. Danner? Um, I'm not sure yet, Danny. What about the top sirloin? Uh, no, thanks. Roast beef? Um, I don't think so. They tell me that the leg of lamb here is excellent, just excellent. Aaron, I assure you I will order something. And I'll just keep quiet. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, would you folks like to order now? Well, I know what I'm going to have. I'm going to have uh, roast beef, uh, medium rare. Norman? There are so many delicious, tempting things on the menu, it's hard to pick just one. <laughs> Yes, a uh, vegetable plate. That's all. Anything will do. You vegetarian now? Um, yes. I, after a fashion. Well, California has really made some changes in well, you that are... California has nothing to do with it. How is California? California's fine, Aaron. You'd enjoy it. Is that an invitation? Not exactly, no. Excuse me, please. Bumpkin, where are you Please going? don't call me that. Judy. I'll get it. Oh, I'll get I'll get it. Judy, come back! Judy! Debbie, sit down. I, I'm, I'm, re I'm really very yes, sorry. I'm sorry. I did. Judy, Judy, you 
overreacting. Why couldn't they just this what? Just try to calm down. They dig at each other. They dig, dig, dig. Come on, let's go back in. No. My parents. I'm sorry. Judy, my parents came from all I'm the way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just do them the courtesy. I can't go back. Judy, don't shout. I'm not shouting. You're shouting. You're yelling. So are you. All right, I'm yelling. So what? We're doing it. What? Fighting. We're having a discussion. A fight. All right, a fight. Now let's go back in. I can't. Do you understand this? I can't. Either you go back in or... Say it. No. No, I won't. What is this? What are you doing here? What did I do? What? Huh? Well, go ahead and say it. Just go ahead, get it out, whatever. Please. Okay, all right, let's say that I... I have it coming to me for whatever reasons, but certainly Danny's parents deserve something better. What you're doing is just... It's rude. They're going to be part of your family. Seems like the least that you They're can do. They're not going to be my family. Well, what does that mean? Judy, I would like to know what is really going on here. Huh? I would like for this to be something more than just a, a one-person conversation. How can I help you if you're not going I'm to not say... I'm not getting married. Oh, now, wait a minute. Now, well, you were getting married this afternoon. I mean, you seem so happy. Why? All of a sudden, did Danny do something? No. Well, then why? I would like to know why, please. Why? Why? Don't you know why? I'm afraid. I'm afraid it's not gonna work. I'm afraid I'm gonna have kids and everybody's gonna get hurt again. I... <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm afraid of what happens when the loving stops. One of my fantasies has always been that if you or Debbie was in trouble, I mean, if you had a real problem, that, you know, I'd have the wisdom and the ability to, to help you with it. Because that's what a daddy is for, right? Well, the moment of truth, and I... I guess I'm having a little trouble helping you because I'm the problem. I didn't say that. 
I, I haven't been a perfect parent. I know that. I've, I've done things that have hurt you, obviously. And I'm sorry. I really am, am sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. But we're human. We, we make mistakes. We, we make decisions, the wrong decisions. We do foolish things, and, and we pay for them. I just, I just don't want you to make a wrong decision. That's all. Now, I'm not saying that you should marry Danny. I'm not saying that you shouldn't. But what I'm saying is if you don't marry him, let me know that you're not marrying him for the right reasons. That's all. I mean, your reasons. Reasons that have to do with, with, with now, not, not something that, that, that's gone. I am not Danny. And you are not your mother. And what happened between your mother and me, that's... It's not a blueprint for you and Danny, because you're different. Totally different. Now again, please, understand me. I'm not saying that Danny is the one for you. I am saying... Don't be afraid. Don't let fear choose for you. Don't be afraid to take a chance because you can't live in this world without taking some kind of chance. There are no absolutes. There are no certainties, no guarantees. Okay? Don't make any sense at all? Yes. And, you know, no matter what you do, no matter what you decide, whether you marry Danny, whether you don't, whether it works, whether it doesn't, whatever happens, you see, I'm your father and you're my daughter. And no matter what other faults that I may have had, See, I'm your father, and you've got to know. You've just got to know that the loving will never stop. Oh, I'm sorry. Daddy? Daddy, I love you. Oh. No. <laughs> Me too. this young couple and have observed how much love Judy and Danny have for each other. And we all know the happiness that will bring them all through the years as it does this day. Oh, they will have disappointments and crises. That is part of life. But they will be stronger in meeting them because they'll be together. And they will know that each will love and support the other. There is no stronger commitment that two people can make than this commitment of marriage, which makes two people one couple joined in love and understanding now and for all time to come. Yes, marriage is at once solemn and joyous, a great momentous event, and we all join here with these young people. We're gathered together to witness the wedding of Danny and Judy, a marriage which I am told they have given considerable thought to. <laughs>